Although it may look like little more than a box to hold ink, the inkjet cartridge is actually a highly technical component of the printing system, featuring an integrated circuit that routes signals to the correct ink nozzle with amazing precision. Each ink drop is propelled by a superheated vapor explosion lasting just two millionths of a second, accurately and reliably delivering up to 36,000 drops per second from each of the printhead's 400 microscopic nozzles. Extremely tiny drops allow accurate placement of up to 32 ink drops per individual color dot on the page. Ink formulations must be absolutely consistent to ensure each color drop ejects at precisely the right speed to ensure the highest quality image. filled with toner, but an assembly of more than 80 different components, performance engineered exclusively for the printer for which it was designed. It's the heart of the printing process. How does a laser printer transform characters into hard copy? There are six distinct processes involved in producing a laser printed page, all of which occur within the cartridge. Lexmark Laser Technology uses an electrophotographic process to transfer digital data to paper. The process begins with the charge roller, which applies a uniform charge to the surface of the photoconductor drum. Photoconductor drums are highly sophisticated components, precisely formulated to the power and wavelength of the laser print engine for which they are designed. The laser strikes the photoconductor drum up to 65 million times a second, creating a chemical reaction that discharges the areas that are negatively charged, resulting in an electrostatic image. Next, the image is developed. The toner adder roll coats the developer roll with toner while electrostatically charging the particles. As the toner is placed on the developer roll, a leveling device called a doctor blade evens the toner to a thickness of approximately 15 microns, just slightly thicker than a strand of silk. As the developer roll and photoconductor drum come into contact, the negatively charged toner is attracted to the discharged areas of the drum. When the paper passes under the drum, the transfer roller applies a slight electrical charge, causing the toner to move from the drum to the paper. The drum rotates up to two revolutions per second, timed with the exact speed of the paper, ensuring a complete image transfer. Next, the image is made permanent through a combination of precisely controlled heat and pressure. As the paper approaches, the fuser rollers heat up to 225 degrees Celsius. In just 23 thousandths of a second, the powdered toner reaches its melting point and bonds onto the page. The melting point of Lexmark toners are specifically formulated for our printer's fuser temperatures, ensuring satisfactory prints and protecting the life of the fuser. The final step in the imaging process readies the cartridge to print a new page. The cleaning blade gently removes any stray particles of toner, and the drum is ready to be written anew. During the life of an average Lexmark cartridge, this electrophotographic process is repeated more than 100,000 times. With so much at work, it's clear to see why we recommend our customers use only original Lexmark toner cartridges. Lexmark toners are developed using proprietary formulas and techniques.
ink that is sprayed onto paper to produce text and 2D images. In a similar fashion, future bioprinters will be loaded with cartridges of living cells. These will then be output from a bioprint head that will move left and right, back and forth, and up and down, in order to produce a 3D object. Bioprinters will output many types of cells, as well as a dissolvable gel to support and protect the cells during printing. Organs will then be built up in a great many layers. Over several hours, a complete replacement kidney, liver, heart or other body part will thereby be created. Today, one of the pioneers of bioprinting is Organovo. Here, scientists have already bioprinted experimental human blood vessels and even animal cardiac tissue. Their Novagen MMX bioprinter first prints out a layer of biopaper gel. Bioink spheroids, each containing tens of thousands of cells, are then injected into this water-based material. More layers are subsequently added to build up the final object. Amazingly, nature then takes over and the bioink spheroids slowly fuse together. As this occurs, the biopaper dissolves away, leaving a final bioprinted body part. As bioprinters enter medical application, so replacement organs will be output to individual patient specification. As every body part printed will be created from a culture of a patient's own cells, so the risk of organ transplant rejection should be very low indeed. Some future bioprinters are likely to add cells directly to the human body. Sometime next decade, doctors may therefore be able to scan wounds and spray on layers of cells to very rapidly heal them. One day, keyhole bioprinters may even repair organs inside a patient during an operation. In situ bioprinting could even have cosmetic applications. For example, face printers may be created. These would evaporate existing flesh and simultaneously replace it with new cells. People could therefore download a face scan from the internet and have it applied to themselves. Alternatively, some teenagers may have their own face scanned and then reapplied every few years to achieve apparent perpetual youth. <laughs>